What is going on guys? My name is George and welcome to another episode of Career Mode with Valencia CF here in Viva 14. This is the episode where we're finally going to play in La Liga our first game against Real Betis. But first, we still have to deal with transfers. I know on the second episode, which was the previous one, we did a bunch of selling, a lot of buying. Uh, well, no, a lot of selling and a lot of buying. Uh, and uh, but we still have to do we still have to get a cup not a couple of players but I still had uh, a doubt in the starting 11 I, and that is the striker I just mm, I'm not feeling it with Lukaku guys I just don't know if he is the right player the you know the starter for this club so I was thinking a lot about getting another striker but for that to happen I would have to sell either Lukaku or uh, this guy right here, Paco Alcácer. So I got an offer, you know, 6.5 million Stoke City. But my chief executive said, nope, put 10.2 million on the table. And that is exactly what I did. I know he is a very young player, 77 rated, 21 years old. He could be great in the future, but I really, really would like a better striker than both Lukaku and Alcacer for the moment because I want to do great things in this season. I really want to fight for that La Liga title. Of course, the Champions League, the top four. And I'm going to need a very, very good striker. But first, let's get to this match, the first match of the season. This was going to be the chance to get our first three points against Real Betis. Starting out... Very good chance right here by Banega. Should have been a goal. I mean, that should have been a goal. Um, you know, it was a bad decision by the uh, by the defender, I think, who messed up right there, the goalkeeper. I think that was a defender. Um, and Vanega wasn't able to score. But on that corner kick, it's the goal for Javi Garcia. Our new signing, certain defensive mid from Manchester City, gets his head on that ball. 1-0 now, starting La Liga. We get a goal here. That's the first goal in the season. Felt good to get that goal. You know, it had to be from the corner kick, but uh, like I said, I, thought, I think we should have scored that goal with Banega in that play that we had. Later on, we're going to get scored on, and it's these type of goals that, uh, that just kill me, that I cannot believe I concede. Very, very bad. Not a bad shot. I mean, the it was going to go, you know, it was going to target, but it was just a very weak shot. Goalkeeper should have had that, you know, uh, and he just didn't get that. I mean, he wasn't fast enough to get on that. One-to-one, -one, I still was the better team on the pitch. Real Betts has had a few chances. This one in particular could have been the 2-1 for Betis, and it would have been just uh, a very bad, or just a disappointment to give up that goal right there. And because they miss, we come back and we score the second goal. Figuli, who was injured, comes back to play, or he, he is uh, fit enough to play this match. Fortunately for us, because he is a crucial player in the team, gets this goal right here, 2-1. to one. It's a great finish. Goalkeeper tried to save it, but the shot was very hard. It was very good. It went in the back of the net. Next play. Oh, my goodness. Wow. That has got to be one of the worst misses I've seen ever. But that is... Uh, that. Uh, I'm just glad he missed that. But, I mean, that that should have been the 2-2 right there. That should have been the draw for Real Betis. We come away with a win, but it's not a promising win. And I know, you know, this might be, you know, the start of the season. But still, this, uh, I don't know, it, the team doesn't feel that good right now. Um, so, I'm going to have to get used to the team or I'm going to have to try different formations. I don't know. But, like I, like I said, Lukaku, the striker up top, I'm not feeling him. Uh, other players in the team as well. So, actually, Stoke City, as you saw right there a few seconds ago, they went for that. They accepted the offer, 10.2 million. And we got more offers for Alcacer as well. Jonas, we got an offer from, from him from Liverpool. But since I am going to sell Al Alcacer, I think I'm going to keep him. Um, and I think Jonas, you know, is still a pretty uh, good player, you know, to use as a squad player. Um, so, yeah, they went for it, 10.2 million. 
uh, euros there, and uh, that seems pretty good considering his value is only six million. So then I went to look at some of the strikers in the market, and I saw Diego Costa. Diego Costa, 26 years old, only 12 million in value, and 16.2 between 19.8 was what my chief executive thought i should offer that is amazing guys diego costa for that amount of money for no more than 20 million is absolutely an incredible deal i mean i just had to had to go for that um but i still needed to sell the uh i still needed to sell uh, alcacer you know to get that transfer money in there so you know the deal wasn't done i hadn't you know give um send any tra transfer offers or anything but Diego Costa looks like the player that could be just great for us. And then Lukaku could be, you know, the second striker, you know, in the bench. Or I could actually make a formation, you know, like 4 4 2, uh, you know, the diamond that I used to play in that with Shalk 04. That could be a very good formation to use because, you know, it's like the saying goes if it ain't, if it ain't broken, broken uh, don't fix it. So, you know, I mean, this, this is not Shalk 04. But it could work. I haven't tried it, so you know it could work with Lukaku and Diego Costa up front. It could be a beast of a partnership. I mean, both players are just very strong. Um, you know, very good in the air, and you know they have very good pace as well, decent pace. So it could be a very good uh, strike uh, striker partnership up top. Starting out this match now in the Europa League, we're playing against this very very low team. I believe they are. They play in the. I'm gonna guess in the Champions Championship League, you know, in England, they might be, they might play in the Premier in the Championship, um, in the Football League One or something like that. I don't even know. I honestly don't even know where they play. So I all I know, all I knew was that they were a very bad team on the, you know, on paper, uh, they were not good obviously, and they were not even close. Uh, to the level that we have at Valencia so we start out winning that match one to zero but it was a very difficult match guys because this team was parking the bus they had all their players in the in the box so it was very hard to actually you know do some plays to actually break the defense so it was one zero for a long long time until Bernard comes in takes this very good shot and it's Jonas coming from the back to get that goal two to zero Jonas like I said before I think he is a great squad player still 31 years old not that old has decent pace uh, you know very good shooting as well probably you know decent finishing so Jonas definitely is going to be a very good player for us throughout this whole season so 2-0 two, two, two actually 2-0 in this match we are playing at home and this is the uh, first leg there's going to be the second level of course so we take a very good advantage to, you know to where we're going to go play you know against uh, Dunk Dog. I think that's the name of this team uh, that's how you pronounce it uh, I don't even know uh, but yeah so uh, we took it. Uh, we take a 2-0 uh, lead over there, so that, that's gonna be pretty good. We got the uh, we uh, we hear back from Atletico Madrid. They accepted the offer. They accepted my 18 million that I put on the table. I actually did put the money in there. You know, I did uh, send the transfer offer, even though I said I didn't, but I actually did. So 18 million. They went for it. They went for that. I know it says that his form is poor. But uh, I'm not gonna worry too much about that. Hopefully, you know that's uh, uh, that goes away soon. You know when he starts scoring for the club. I mean, I'm already talking like we already have him. You know, but we don't have him yet. Uh, but uh, you know, you know he has to he has to accept that offer. I mean, come on. Uh, or you know, I could offer him if he doesn't. You know, I could offer him more money. You know, uh, for the week. Uh, you know, for his uh, weekly um, wages. So you know, you know. Um, I think he is a done deal. You know, we just had to hear from him, you know, back from him. Uh, so the next match against Barcelona, but that is all going to be for the next episode, guys. So stay tuned for that. But thank you guys for watching this one. Hopefully you guys liked it. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And that is going to be it. I'll see you in the next video, guys. Later.